Hello everyone, uh, I wanted to give you guys an update about what's going to be happening in the life of our church over the next few months. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who filled in that uh, online survey for us. That really does help us um, to give us a picture of where you guys are uh, and what you would like as we move forward. So in regards to the survey, um, it told us that over 80% of you would prefer to uh, carry on worshipping online for now. And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, but we are going to move to Zoom services rather than videos that are premiered on our YouTube channel. So this week will be the final week that we have a video that is premiered at 10.30 on our YouTube channel. And then next week, that's the 12th, uh, no, the 13th of September, um, we are going to be having live Zoom services at 10.30 a.m. Um, one of the reasons we went with Zoom uh, over YouTube is just that when we do start meeting in the building, um, we are going to be broadcasting the services via Zoom for those who are still unable to attend. Um, and so this way it just helps us to get into a good practice of using Zoom and of gathering together in that way and worshipping uh, in that way. So that's uh, September the 13th. Our services are going to be live via Zoom at 10.30am every Sunday. Uh, our house groups um, have all moved online since lockdown began um, and they're going to continue online. Uh, this is due to uh, current restrictions. Um, we're still in our local lockdown, which means that it's uh, still illegal for us to be indoors with people from other households unless you're in a support bubble. And so until that changes, um, we're still going to be having our house groups meeting uh, online via Zoom each week. If you're not in a house group and would like to join one, then please get in touch with me um, and we'll make sure that you get, um, that you're, you know, join a house group that's going to, that's going to work for you. Uh, the other thing um, is that even though we're not meeting in our building on Sundays for worship, uh, we are going to start something called Reflections. So Reflections is going to take place every Thursday at 6pm and that is going to meet in the building. So these sessions, they'll start with a reflection um, about God, uh, you know, about the world, about life, about what's happening, and then we'll spend time praying together. So that's at 6 p.m. every Thursday, and the first one of those is going to be on Thursday, the 17th of September. So if you um, are really eager uh, to meet and to fellowship uh, and to have that kind of physical gathering uh, with people in our church family, then this is something that you can attend. There will be um, a capacity of of 30 people for that. Um, so if we find that we start getting close to that, then we're gonna have to start asking people to register. Um, for the time being, it would just be that people leave their name and number uh, at the door when they arrive for the track and trace, um, but you will be required to wear a mask uh, and follow the other procedures in the building to make sure that we keep each other safe uh, during this pandemic that is still ongoing. Fresh Grounds Online, uh, they're going to um, continue meeting online, but it's only going to be on Sunday evenings. So they're no longer going to meet on uh, Friday morning at 10.30. They're only going to meet online on Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Uh, and the hope is that they can do a few kind of pop-up uh, events as and when the weather allows it to. So just keep your eyes open on social media um, or through the uh, house group, uh, text groups, WhatsApp groups, and we'll let you know when that is happening. Um, most of our other ministries are going to be uh, either waiting to reopen until January. Um, again, kind of regulations dependent, we'll see where we are then. Um, or they're going to carry on online. So Adventurers is going to uh, uh, open uh, this Friday and that's going to be at 6.30pm to 7pm online via Zoom. You can speak to Phil if you want more information about that. And the Sunday School is going to continue producing uh, an online Sunday School each week as well. Our Monday meals are going to be meeting inside the building again, uh, following all of the relevant regulations uh, to make sure that we can do that in a way that keeps us and the people that attend safe and protected. I want to thank you for your continued support uh, and encouragement during these times. You know, none of what is going on is ideal and we are all just trying to do uh, the best we can with what we have. 
um, we love God, you know, we want to continue to gather, we want to continue to worship him, and we want to continue to serve him, uh, both personally and corporately, um, in our homes, in our communities, um, and in our church building, as much as we are able to during these times. And I wanted to finish just by praying over and for us today. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Father, we ask you to continue to guide us, to continue to speak to us, uh, and continue to encourage us by your presence during these times. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen.